Good evening, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. Come, join me again tonight in reading God's word here in this wonderful place. Hallelujah. My room, <laughs> nice and cozy. Thank you, Father. Oh, we praise the Lord and we glorify you. Oh, God, you are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness every new day and your faithfulness at night. Father God, thank you that you are so good to us, Lord. Your promises are true, Lord. Thank you that with you, Lord, all things are possible. God, you are giving us rest. You are saying to us, I will give you rest. I love you. I will direct your steps. You can do all things. I am able. I forgive you. I will supply all your needs. I have not given you a spirit of fear. Cast all your cares on me. I give you wisdom. I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We believe it and we receive it, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. In the name above all names we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, you're so, so good. You're so awesome, Lord. You're so wonderful. Hallelujah. God, thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, alive, alive forevermore. Jesus is alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are alive indeed. Hallelujah. It's the same that the the same the spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead also is the spirit that is within us. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. God, as we partake the bread and the cup, we remember you. We do this in remembrance of you, O Father, of what you did on the cross for me. On the cross, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Amen. Jesus, you are the bread of life. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this cup of the new covenant, for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And also for our protection, Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. God. Father God, as we read your word tonight, Lord, help us to understand, give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, O Father, as we read your word. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. It is raining outside, so I, I close my window blinds and also there is thunder. <laughs> God, thank you that we can worship anywhere, anytime, Father. Hallelujah. God, I just want also to say thank you, Father, because today, this morning, when I called my beloved daughter at the hospital, he received the Lord as his personal Lord and Savior. And I asked him, Tatay, uh, kun mamatay ka, saan nga ka mga sigurado ka? Ang makakadto ka, imperno or halangit? Nasugad naman niya. Halangit God, siyempre. And so, I asked him, Father, when you, when you die, where will you be? In heaven or hell? And he said with confident he said, I will go to heaven. And so, he is sure and confident that he will go to heaven. And he is not afraid, as he said, Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father, for the confidence, expectation of good things that's going to happen to us, Lord, for those, your children, Father God. And you have said here, Lord, that for those who receive the Lord Jesus will be saved. Hallelujah. For those who will call the name of the Lord Jesus, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. It is in Romans chapter 10 verse 13 it is also written 
it says here it is also written in in Acts chapter 2 verse 21 and Joel chapter 2 verse 32 whoever everyone who calls on the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved hallelujah thank you fathers we call on your name Lord the Lord we will be saved hallelujah as we receive you as our personal Lord and Savior Lord Jesus thank you Lord for dying on the cross for our sins open up our heart to receive you as our personal Lord and Savior thank you for the forgiveness of our sins and giving us eternal life make us the kind of person you want us to be in Jesus name we pray amen thank you father as we read this one as we say this prayer from our hearts the Lord Jesus will come into our heart hallelujah and the spirit of the living God will dwell in us as it says in the word of God. Thank you, Father. Here, let's let's read this. Romans chapter 8. It says here that free from the indwelling sin, there is now no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. It says here that who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh god did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin he condemned sin in the flesh that the righteous requirements of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh but according to the spirit the holy spirit because oh thank you father the fruit of the holy spirit we walk through the fruit of the holy spirit which is love the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control oh father help us to walk in the spirit for those for those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh the things of the flesh the acts of the sinful nature sexual immorality impurity bureaucracy idolatry witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits, rage, selfish ambition, the sensations, and in vain, drunkenness, urges. I warn you that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. And so, when we receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit will come into our hearts as well. And we will live by the Spirit of the Living God. And so, Hallelujah, Father, help us. For those who live according to the flesh set minds on the things things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit, these things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be par spiritually minded is life and peace hallelujah peace if we are living in the spirit of the living god so then those who are in the flesh cannot please god but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if indeed the spirit of god dwells in you now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit in li is life because of righteousness. Our righteousness is the Lord Jesus Christ. We live right just through Jesus. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, today's resurrection day, right? And 
the 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 spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead lives in us, in me, in you. He who raised Christ from the dead will also live, give life to your mortal bodies through His Spirit who dwells in you. Wow, the Spirit of the Living God dwells in us as well. Sunship through the Spirit. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh. To live according to the flesh. For if we live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Wow, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We have the sonship. We are co-heirs with Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. From suffering to glory. For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it it's in hope. Because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. Not only that, but we also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption of the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope. Wow, we will save in this hope. For hope that is seen is not hope. But why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Amen. Thank you, Father. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weakness, for we do not know what we should pray. When we pray, we do not know what we should pray, especially... I pray for my heart in speaking in tongue. The Spirit, the Spirit prays with us. Hallelujah. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself makes intercession for us with groans and which, which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the heart knows what the mind of the Spirit is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. You pray with us, the Spirit. The Holy Spirit, pray with us. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Amen. For whom he first foreknew, he also predestined to be confirmed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined this, he also called. Whom he called this, he also justified. And whom he justified, this he also glorified. God's everlasting love. What when shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, 
how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Amen. Thank you, Father. Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died. And furthermore, is, is also risen. Amen. He died and is also risen. He's alive right now. Who is even at the right hand of God who also makes intercession for us? Jesus Christ now is the right hand of God. He also makes intercession for us. He prays for us. Hallelujah. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written? For you, for your sake, we are killed all day long and we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet in all things, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ, through him who loved us. For I am persecuted that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things, uh, pestilence, nor things to come. Hallelujah. Nor things present, nor things to come. Nor height, nor death, nor depth, nor any other created things shall be able to separate us. From the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. Father, thank you that no one can separate us from your love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. As Jesus is, so are we in this world. And Father, thank you that we have, we are called to be the son and daughters of the Most High God. For he, the Spirit himself, bears, for, and it says here, the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Hallelujah. We are led by the Spirit of God. For those who are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Amen. Father, thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Because the same Spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead is also the same Spirit that is in us, who dwells in us, in you and me. Hallelujah. When we receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit also will dwells in us. The same Spirit that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And so when we die, we will be alive again. Yesterday we read this, the resurrection, about the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ in the book of John. Hallelujah. He's Lazarus also been resurrected. Jesus did miracle. Oh, Father, thank you. Lord, we praise the Lord. And we do not have to be afraid in this world because no one can separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise the Lord and we glorify you. Oh, God, thank you, Lord Jesus. And mga mahal, let's continue on reading the word of God in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14. Ceremonially clean and unclean animals. Since you are the people of God, since you are the people of the Lord your God, never cut yourselves or shave the hair above the foreheads in mourning for the, for the dead. You have been set apart as holy of the, to the Lord your God, and he has chosen you for all the nations of the earth to be his own special treasure. You must not eat any detestable animals that are ceremonially unclean. These are the animals you may eat, the ox, the sheep, the goat, the deer, the gazelle, the roo, de the roo deer, the wild goat, adax, antelope, and the mountain sheep. You may eat any animal that has completely split hooves and juice the cud, but if the animal doesn't have both, it may not be eaten. So you may not eat the camel, the hare, the herax, the they, they chew the cud, but do not have split hooves, so they are ceremonially unclean for you. And you may not eat the pig. It has split hooves, but does not chew the cud, so it is ceremonially unclean for you. You may not eat the meat of these animals or even touch their carcasses. Of all the marine animals, you may eat whatever has both fins and scales. May have not eat, however, eat marine animals that do not have both fins and scales. They are ceremonially unclean for you. You may eat the, any bird that is ceremonially unclean. These are the birds you may not eat. 
the griffon vulture, the breaded vulture, the black vulture, the kite, the falcon, the buzzards of all kinds, ravens of all kinds, the eagle, all, the short-eared owl, the seagull, hawks, or of all kinds, the little owls, the great owls, the barn owl, and desert owl, and Egyptian vulture, the cormorant, the star herons of all kinds, the hoopoe, and the bats. All winged insects that walk along the ground are ceremonially unclean for you, and you may not be, you not be eaten, but you may eat any winged birds or insect that ceremonially that is ceremonially unclean. You must not eat anything that has died of a natural death. You may give it to the foreigner living in your town, or you may sell it to the stranger. Do not eat it yourselves, for you are set apart as holy to the Lord your God. You must not cook a young goat in its mother's milk. Father, thank you that we are separated unto because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. And so, Lord, for, for this, we can eat actually pig. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, Lord. We are separated unto because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for our sins, and we are no more longer bound on the law, but we are, we are in Christ Jesus, the Spirit of the living God living in us, Lord. Help us to live by the Spirit, Lord, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, oh God. Help us to, to live, oh Father God, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control thank you father for your word that we are co-heir with jesus christ now and that we have everlasting life with him hallelujah thank you lord for for god demonstrated his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners christ died for us thank you lord for jesus is the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father but see, except through jesus Oh, hallelujah. Father, thank you. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. Oh, God, for your love towards us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you, Father. We have confidence, as my father said. He will go to heaven when he died, and he's not afraid, afraid because he will be with Jesus now. Thank you, Father. Jesus, the name above all names. Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Thank you, Mga Mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye, God bless, and take care. Now I can eat this one. <laughs> My beloved sister gave this to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And I read first the word of God because the Lord says that you shall not eat. The, Lord, the word of God says, It is written, Man shall not live their bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for you. you, we, are, you are, we are alive with Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.